So this is a tutorial on what I'm doing with a, the effortless 11 day, 11 day detox on the Spooky2 uh, bioresonance device, the, the terrain protocol, the 11 day terrain protocol that comes, that comes with the, the actual device. So first we need to talk about quantum entanglement. What is it? How does it work? And I'm going to use a really, I suppose it's a bit of a cheesy analogy, but hopefully it's going to help you understand because it is a pretty advanced concept. And even hearing this, I did not believe it until I experienced it myself. Having felt it now, I unquestionably know it works. And this is one of those things that maybe you just have to experience it before you believe it too. So the way that this works is when, I, when I'm taking people in for this program. So I do a group, a group program, usually up to about 20 people, because that's as many people as I'm able to fit in the generator at one time. I usually do two different um, programs at the same time. I do one the, the, the standard and the other one is without mercury if you have amalgams in your teeth i can't run mercury removal frequencies on your body because it actually just mobilizes that, that mercury out of your amalgam fillings and it's going to make you more sick so i usually do two programs simultaneously the one without mercury and the, and the default one with mercury 10 people in each generator so 20 people each time i run it obviously if this is really popular i can get another generator and i can do more people so that's that's not a problem when the more people to do this the more people i can i can take but this is why currently I, I do it for 20 people and i usually run this at the beginning of every month particularly around new moons and full moons if i can because it's i find it's more effective that way because there are some frequencies in here that target parasites it's not big on the parasites i don't and actually think that's a good thing but for that reason, I do try to run it around the new moon or the full moon if I can, because you get some some added benefits. So it's it's July as I'm doing this, and I'm starting one today, which is why I'm recording this this video. But I'm trying to design this so it's going to be useful for all of my future programs as well. And it is the full moon today. We've got full moon in Capricorn, so it's a really nice opportunity to just do this today. And again, it's around the beginning of the month, so it really fits in nicely. I like to do this about once a month if I can. So how does quantum entanglement work? So I get these 20 people that have signed up. So if you're interested in signing up, you can. There'll probably be like a little link below so you can just sign up to my emailing list for the next time that I do this. Or if, if you're watching this live, then let me know because I'm starting today. So you have to get yourself in really quick. Got a couple of spaces left. So basically you, you sign up and I send you over this little form and I just collect some personal details about you. So it's like your full name, your date of birth and a picture of your face. And the way that quantum entanglement works, and this is my cheesy analogy for today, is it's kind of like how the post the post works, the postal service. So it's not magical that when you've got a parcel or a letter that you want to send to like one of your friends, your family or colleague or, or somebody, that you just put the, the details or the information on the front of where they live and it turns up at the house. Like that doesn't, that's not magical because you, you experience it. I'm literally doing the same thing with bioresonance. So using your full name, date of birth and a picture of your face, it's basically like I'm creating a package of these frequencies and I'm going to send them to you. And the way that the device knows where they're supposed to go is I've literally put the delivery instructions on this little piece of paper inside the generator. So it sounds like magic, but it's, it's no more magical than the post office service is. And I think that is quite magical, you know, that you can, you can trust that you can put whatever you need to send to somebody in a little piece of paper and then you just put it in this little box and then pay a little bit of money and magically it's like at the house it is magic in its own way but this is no more magical than that it's literally the same process so just as just as if i took this little piece of paper that has your your a picture of your face and your full name and your date of birth on it and i was like and i stood in a room of like a thousand people and i was holding it up and i said who is this Whoever it is would put their hand up like, that's me, that's me. Like, that's how the generator knows to send it to you because you identify with it. That is you. That's how it knows to send it to you. So it's not like this like magical thing. It, 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 you know, I'm literally giving it delivery instructions. That's why I have to collect this data. So hopefully this makes it a little bit more understandable that it's not just like magically knowing where to send it. Like I literally put delivery instructions in, in the machine. That's how it knows. And the way that it sends these frequencies is it's not like, it's not like a radio frequency, you know, like, you know, you get like with your phone, for example, it has to connect to an antenna and the waves are like, like this coming to the, to the, to the device. It doesn't work like that. It works through resonance. So you can hear that in the name, right? Bio resonance. So bio meaning like alive or organic or sort of like life and resonance meaning like, vib vib it basically means vibration. So basically what's happening is when I put 
your data in the machine. I've got it literally just behind me. It's in the cupboard behind me. I put it in the machine and it sends the frequencies to you in a, in a, in a resonant way. So this is where it gets a little bit harder to believe. It's not broadcasting a frequency out and sending like a wiggly wave that, that goes out and reaches you. What's happening is it's causing resonance in the, on the quantum level. So instead of it creating this kind of movement and sending a wave off to you, it changes the resonance of your cells. So this is actually going, the best example I can think of here is, have you ever thought about somebody and you're thinking about somebody like, oh, I should call this person. And then all of a sudden they call you and you're like, what the hell? That was crazy. That, that is exactly what's happening here. You are quantumly entangled with that person. And when they're thinking about you and you're thinking about them, you can feel it, you can perceive it. And the more intuitive people will be able to do this more, or they'll be, be able to perceive things more. Like I know there's been examples of like a mom knowing that something really bad has happened to her son. Like they, they're quantumly entangled. Like their DNA is like half the same. They can feel it. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of resonance there. It's the same thing. It's causing a resonance inside your electromagnetic field and inside your physical cells. And you're picking up on that. And that's exactly what we're doing with this generator, with this, with this machine. We're taking your cells and we're causing them to resonate in a different way. So say you've got, for example, there's some entrainment frequencies in this. And we're gonna, I'm going to go through this in more detail and actually show you the program. But there's some entrainment frequencies, which basically mean it's pretty well established and mapped that different cells inside your body have different optimal resonant frequencies. So your liver is supposed, your liver cells resonate at a certain frequency, your kidney cells resonate at a certain frequency, your adrenal gland resonates at a certain frequency when it's healthy. When it's diseased, say it's supposed to resonate like this. When it's diseased, maybe it's resonating like this. And it's, it's got this, this basically incorrect resonant frequency. So through entrainment, we're basically sending the appropriate frequencies and it changes this and it slowly starts to calm down and move back to its healthy resonance. And it makes the cell function as it's supposed to function again. So we're basically changing the, the vibrational capacity or the, 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 the resonance of, of the cells. That's one way that it works through entrainment. But we can also use the same kind of idea targeting a pathogen. So different organisms have different resonant frequencies. So flukes, for example, and I say that as an example because we have that in the program. Flukes have a certain resonant frequency, meaning their cells resonate at a certain frequency. We can charge their cells with so much energy that the cells explode and they die. So you can literally target a pathogen and kill it by figuring out what its resonant frequency is and sort of overcharging it with energy. It causes it to resonate basically to death. So that's basically what you're doing when you're using bioresonance to, to kill things. That's not the main reason I like to use it. I think the entrainment is cool. I think that there's there's many different layers of, of how you can use resonance technology to affect your health. And there's a bit of both in, in, in this program, but it's more focused on the moving your body back into operating, how it's supposed to operate. Because when it does, when your immune system's working correctly and your nervous system's working correctly and your gut works correctly, it kills all of these parasites and pathogens by itself. Like it has natural mechanisms that do this automatically. So basically this program is designed to sort of enable your body to start doing this correctly again. So this program, let's get into the program now. Hopefully you understand how quantum entanglement works. Hopefully, hopefully you understand how I send the frequencies for you. Hopefully you understand a little bit more about resonance. There is a lot. This is pretty advanced level stuff. Honestly, you don't really need to know whether you know it or not. Like whether you know how the postal service works, it doesn't matter. If you just send your letter, it gets to where it's supposed to go. You don't need to know that the postman picks it up at this time and then it goes to this sorting office and then it goes to this truck and then it goes on this airplane and then it goes to this truck and then it goes to this sorting off. But you don't need to know. All you need to do is write, write, your, write the instructions or write the address on the front and, and it's done. Like you don't need to understand how this works for it to work. But if you wanted to, hopefully you do now. So now I'm going to actually turn my screen share on and I'm going to show you the protocol and I'm going to walk you through it. And hopefully you'll find this really interesting. So let me just swap this over. So I'll just do a screen share, stick it on spooky and share. So you should now be able to see my screen. So one reason that I do this for people is first of all, it's kind of like I'm lending my lending my machine. So it's like you can use it if you even if you don't have one. Another reason I do it is this is kind of confusing technology. So like, if you look, there's like all this stuff and there's lots of things and it, it can, it can feel a bit confusing if you don't really know what you're doing. Like there's loads of different stuff here. This is one reason that I do it because it's just not, not everybody wants to learn how to use this stuff. Like personally, I'm not really interested in technology either. It's, if it, if it can help in healing, then cool. It's not really my interest, but I know how to do it now. And I know other people don't really care. They just want to heal. So if I have the ability to help them heal by just doing this for them, then cool, I'll do it. 
So this is actually quite an easy thing to do because it is a, it's a program that comes with the machine by default. So this is nothing that I've actually created myself. This is a program developed by the people that created the, the hardware and the software themselves. So this is, this is not my material. Like this is, this is created by them. And they suggest that whenever you start using bioresonance, you do this protocol first and that you should do this fairly frequently. I think they suggest four times a year, once every three months. That's generally what they recommend. But this is, this is the program here. So this is the terrain protocol for remote. You can pause the video if you want and you can read this whole thing. This bit isn't really that important. I'm going to scroll down to the bits that are important. So this shows you the whole schedule. I'll just go to here because it shows you it really nicely. Here is a table, this little section here. So it shows you what we're doing on each day. So it's an 11, it's an 11 day program. So you've got remove metals, remove metals, remove chemical materials, remove systemic toxins one and then two. And you can see the correlating day that it is associated with here. And we've got remove intestinal toxins and systemic toxins, parasites and liver function, kidney function one, kidney function two, and cleanse blood, kidney and liver toxins, intestinal parasites, and finally lymphatic system and lymph lymph lymphatic system one and lymphatic system two. So this is the whole program here. And this is why it takes 11 days because it does it in these days. So one day is connected to a certain thing. So day one is just remove metals. Day two is again, just remove metals. And then day three is chemical materials and it moves through this through this program and it takes 11 days to complete that is why it is the 11 day fms detox and if we scroll up here it tells you a little bit more about what is in each of these programs so i so there's this is this is what they say i've i've run this program like nearly 10 times now and i've done this myself i have a i have more insight from personal experience and from running these programs on places where most people are getting stuck and why I suspect that is and what is connected to these different things. So, I mean, obviously you can, you can take a look here and you can, you can pause the video and you can just read these things. These are all the, the different things that are, that are, that are in this program, but I'm going to tell you my experience. So if in the first two days you're really struggling, you probably have accumulated metals in your body. It doesn't really like up here, it says in the, in the remove metals section, it says arsenic, mercury, heavy metal toxicity. So it's got just these here, but I find that this works for basically all heavy metals, for cadmium, for aluminium, for loads of different things. Anything that's in chemtrails, all of that in there. Some of the things that can be in some of the injections that it can help with that as well. And then we've got chemical materials. This is what I would consider is usually can, is usually toxins, but toxins that you're exposed to in your environment. So non non-natural toxins so this would be like fluoride this would be like chlorine this would be like uh, pesticides and agricultural chemicals this could be plastics things like that the next ones here we've got remove systemic toxins one two and three and intestinal toxins as well i find systemic toxins one two and three combines this is this is quite a broad spectrum but it's basically all toxins that you might be exposed to that are more natural in nature so this could include like certain types of mold and mycotoxins this can can, can include uh, endotoxins and lipopolysaccharides and and things that are being produced by parasites or natural organisms so some people with lyme disease find this this stage a little bit hard it's basically any any connected to any toxin that is 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 more natural in in nature so you actually could go out in in the natural world and find those toxins that's more likely versus the chemical materials is more chemicals that that we have that are more man-made chemicals. So I find that this is the hardest part of the whole program. These six days, this is where most people struggle. And if you're really going to struggle with it, you're probably going to be feeling it by day, by day two. Because the thing is, all of these toxins here, all of them in these first six stages, they almost are all fat soluble in nature, which means that they're going through the, the same pathways for detoxification. So if you've got a problem with one and you've got an a bioaccumulation of one of them, it, that usually causes you to stop detoxing the other ones as well. So normally if you have a problem with one of these, you have problems with all of these. Like personally, I've had no significant metal exposure. You know, I have no, no amalgam fillings. I can't think of any, any place I've really been exposed to metals, but I run the metal frequencies on me and I can definitely feel it. And it's very, very strong, it really impacts me in my, in my gut. So that's, that's that for, for that stage. And then moving on from there, so this is more like mobilization of toxins and cleaning the body. Then we move a little bit onto killing some parasites and more of the entrainment frequencies that I mentioned earlier. 
So in the parasites and liver function, I think up here, it tells you a little bit about what's in there. So parasites and liver function here, we've got some liver flukes, liver function balance. So it's not heavy on the killing frequencies, but there are some, there are some killing frequencies. This is more about the, the these, these entrainment frequencies, as I mentioned before. So if you have any kind of like, this can really be helpful for any of your genetic mutations that you have, MTHFR, for example. This could be helpful with, if you have problems with your stage one or stage two liver detoxification, this can be really helpful with that as well. If you have um, gallbladder problems, liver problems, this stage can be really helpful for it. Then we move on to kidney function one and kidney function two and cleanse blood. I think the cleanse blood is tied in really nicely with this because your kidneys are literally like filters for your blood. So doing these both at the same time can be really helpful in this stage as through the whole thing, but especially in this stage, it's really important to stay hydrated correctly. Juicing can be helpful. Down here, we move into kidney and liver toxins. So now, so the way that this, this is structured by them and it's very intelligent the way that they've done it. So here they're trying to clear some parasites from the liver and improve liver function. And they're also trying to improve kidney function. And then they're targeting specifically kidney and, kidney and liver toxins. So it's like, if we targeted these kidney and liver toxins higher up in the program, it, the liver and the kidneys might not be able to handle them. But because we've just worked on improving the liver and kidney function, they're more likely to be able to handle these kidney and liver toxins. And then we're really going after the intestinal parasites. This is the, the most intense part of this killing program. During this stage, you might really be feeling if you've got like IBS or SIBO, or you've got any kind of parasites, worms, anything like that inside the gut, that's where you're most likely to feel it. But again, it's not usually just killing these parasites that actually resolves the problem. Most often parasites are there because they're helping your body with detoxification. So this is why it makes a lot of sense to do this right near the end, because we've already, we've just done these first nine days on cleaning the body of toxins. So now the parasites have way less of a reason to actually be there and it's easier to kill them. And when you do kill them, you're like, you're less likely to feel bad doing so because the body is so clean. And then finally, on the 11th day, we've got lymphatic system one and two. This is kind of just like, after it's like you've just done a deep clean of your body. It's kind of like just going around and just wiping up all of the surfaces afterwards. You know, your lymphatic system is your drainage system in your body. It's just making sure that everything that's been released, everything that's been purged is now ready to be really like let, let go of. And that the body is in a nice um, balanced state and able to, able to function after this. Because this is quite intense. You know, I've had people do this and they don't, maybe they just feel worse for doing it and they don't feel any better immediately after. But then I had, I had a lady with a, with a, with a young son. She reached out to me five months after doing this program. And he said, and she said, all of a sudden, all of his food sensitivities have just disappeared overnight. And he was on like five or six foods, really, really malnourished, really struggling. And then all of a sudden he can eat gluten and dairy and everything. And it was like, it was like crazy. And I'm like, what did you do? And she's like, I've done nothing since this program. So it has to be that, which is, which is really, really cool. So you don't always feel Im immediately better because you're, you're completely disrupting the balance inside of your body and mobilizing a lot of toxicity. But some people just feel bad. You know, this is really a mixed bag. Some people feel really bad when they do it. Some people feel really good when they do it. Some people feel really bad when they do it, but they feel much better after we finish. Some people just feel good the whole time and then they finish and they feel better. Some people feel really good while they're on it and then they feel worse when they finish. That's a sign that they actually need to do it more. It's really, it's really difficult to say. And this is because everybody has different health problems for different reasons. But it's still a, a really good idea to try it. I completely agree with them. Doing this three or four times a year is a really, really good idea. Hopefully that gives you a really solid idea of what is actually in this program. And now you understand more about what it is. If you do have any interest in joining this, do just let me know. I'm going to leave a little link to the, to the thing for you to sign up to the emailing list. We shoot, an, we shoot an email out to the emailing list every single time we do this, we do this program. And you're welcome to just come and try it once. If it's not for you, cool. If you want to do this consistently, like I have several people, like five or six people in the group currently that basically doing it almost every single month or doing it very frequently, just because they know that they feel better when they're doing it. So, so why not? I keep this very affordable. It's a very low effort thing. Literally, all you have to do is send over a payment and fill out a small form of literally like full name, date of birth, and a, attach a picture of your face. Like that's it. That's as easy as it gets. You don't have to do any juicing, any detoxing, any fasting, any... You don't have to do anything. This is just completely passive, running in the background, super easy, super low effort, super low maintenance. And that's why I really like it because it does really work and it's really not that hard to do. So that is everything for today's video. So I'm just going to turn my screen sharing off so I can get you get all, all big again so you can see me nice and big. Cool. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you found this really helpful. 
If you do have any questions, please leave me a comment and let me know, and I'll be more than happy to answer them.